trains across the country and at the time a lot of people were wandering around because there was no work and they were trying to find somewhere they could go for work this is Jake Willis make him welcome at Willow Ranch tonight thank you this is Coburn we're very happy to be playing with good times so yeah, it's Woody Guthrie's 100th birthday. That's what we're talking about up here right now. So we're just playing a set of Woody Guthrie songs. We're just trying to play, pay tribute to the grand grandpappy of all folk singers. So anyway, back in the Dust Bowl, Woody was wandering around trying to find work. Everybody's trying to find work. He's at, you know, picking peaches out in the fields or wherever he could stumble onto and uh, singing songs about the trouble people were having, the work that people were having, fighting up against the, the, the big corporations. So... This song about all these people were headed out to California, and he got out to California to check it out, and uh, it wasn't quite uh, what everybody was crack cracking it up to be, so I uh, wrote the song called uh, Do Re Mi. <laughs> Every day, beating hot old dust away for the California line. We'll cross the desert sands, the road, getting out of that old dust hole. Think they're headed for a sugar bowl, but here's what they find. Now the police at the port of entry say.
that song too. I love that song. What do you got, Three? It just makes perfect sense that Woody Guthrie's birthday would be the same day as, as Bim Willow's birthday. It just makes so much sense. And you, and you never see him in the same place at the same time. Oh, and on a side note, happy birthday, Matt Berge. Yeah. Kent Morris. Yeah, who went there? Hey, Kent Morris. 21? Is it 21? Look oh. out. Look out. Clear the roads, everybody. Clear the roads. Yeah. This song kind of special a place in my heart. So there's a there's a town in Illinois called Centralia. Centralia, Illinois is down in southern Illinois, and there's there's a there was a huge coal mine down there. And uh, the coal the coal mine down in Centralia, Illinois, the uh, the bosses had this situation where people who were working people kind of give take for granted like how much how lucky we are to have base, just the basic things that the people struggled for to get. Like uh, simple working conditions and uh, you know getting paid for the work that you do and shit. Back then, people were living in tents in big tent cities with their families down in southern Illinois, working around these mines. And they would they'd have to rent the tent from the boss, from the corporation who would rent them a tent. And the tent rent would cost more than they were making, so they would never make anything. And it was impossible to get out of these situations. And it was basically slavery that they were living in down in, in these mine situations. And eventually, when people People fought, like, bloody fights, like, fought, like, fought against the corporations with, with guns. People died in this fight. Thousands of people fought for, these, for the basic rights that we have as workers in the country against these giant corporations. We kind of take that stuff for granted anymore. We shouldn't, because they will take it back away. There's a song called, about this mining disaster that happened down there. They told, the, uh, the inspectors came through and the, the, the owner of the mine just paid him off and they, the, the inspector would just leave him alone and they just refused to do any of the fixes that they did. The inspector kept telling him that the mines were dangerous and that everybody was going to die in there someday. And he didn't care because he was making so much money he didn't give a shit if anybody, if all his workers died. Which is what happens. So, so eventually, you know, of course, the, uh, the mine exploded and 111 people died. And uh, this is a song called Waiting, Waiting at the Gate. Tell the miners, kids and wives, there's been a blast in the number five. Families I see standing at the gate. The inspector years ago said number five's a deadly hole. In a bit, most likely won't come out alive. Waiting at the gate. Yeah, we are waiting at the gate. Smoking fire just rolled more on from that dark and deadly hole.
Houston while I get to Saturday to wait my daddy out with the other men. In the pocket of his shirt, I found a little note he wrote to never go down in a dangerous mine again. This guy, uh, as our sound guy uh, notified me, he's the only gentleman we know who has played at Bonnaroo. I was playing a sandwich shop the other day, and this girl was like, I got <laughs> sandwich water for the other year. It's like, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Good sign, you all have a bologna sandwich. <laughs> I was singing. Yeah, so, yeah, I was singing there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. This is one of Woody Guthrie's most famous songs. Y'all probably, I don't know, there, there, he's got songs y'all would know, but uh, this is one y'all to. We're all hard traveling folks, and this is a song about, uh, about workers traveling around the country trying to find work, which is uh, kind of what I do. Actually, I was coming back from DeKalb, Illinois, on my way here. Drove on the Lincoln Highway on the way back. Those old school two liners that go all across this country and zigzag before we used to have interstate highways. That's how you used to get around. Yeah, I've been having some hard traveling. I thought you knew.
broken and linking highway, but you know. 